Dear Lord, are you okay, son? I'm fine. I assume you must be Scat Dazzle's partner. Where is he? I don't know how to tell you this, but he has passed on. What happened? Please, we can't stay out here. Come with me. I'll explain on the way. What's the shovel for? I used to dig graves with it, but it seems all the graves I've dug for the past 20 years weren't deep enough to hold the people I laid to rest. You mean... The dead walk. So? Look, I guess in your line of work this may not be disturbing, but it's a little bothersome to me. In the past week I've seen people rise from their graves who've been dead for a hundred years. I've seen people I knew when they were alive come back from the dead. But they're not the same. They're monsters. And the shovel? Hmm? Oh, now the only use I have for this thing is as a weapon. It's not in my nature to kill, mind you, but these things are already dead and they're evil. I'm sure the good Lord doesn't have anything against me knocking their heads off. That seems to be about the only way to put them down for good. He died guarding the church. He'd hold up on the roof and shot anything that came this way that wasn't human. Something went wrong, and the roof collapsed. He'd said that you were coming to assist him, so I went to meet you when I heard the train coming. He's dead. I checked. Not for long. Damn. I need rum. I have some scotch. That won't work. I need rum. There's a saloon in the middle of town, but this really isn't the time. Yes, it is. might want to turn away. I suspect your religious sensibilities might be offended by what I'm about to do. Ah, the, the legendary, legendary stranger, the man, man of mystery. mystery. You, you know, know your, your dark past, past is not so secret in my realm. realm. I know all about you. Fascinating. Just revive Scat and be on your way. Easy, man. Don't, Don't forget who you're dealing with. You have your cigar. You have your rum. All the blood you need is in a pool beneath your host. Do your business and be off. <laughs> 
pray, pray you, you never, never owe me a favor. What, what happened? You died. Again. I used your powder to summon Baron Samadhi. He revived you. Hey, thanks. There are still people out there. I've heard them crying for help. Find them and bring them here. I still feel a little weak. And I can stay here and guard this place. Once I feel a little stronger, I'll come out and help you. Very well. There are a couple of farmhouses on the other side of town. I, I haven't had the courage to go there myself, but the, the Jenkins and the Smiths were alive the last time I saw them. I'll bring them back and anyone else I find. Can you or the Baron do anything about these zombies? They're not voodoo zombies. None of my magic works against them. The only way to stop them is brute force. Detach their brains from their bodies. Whatever dark influence hangs over this place has energized the motor control areas of their brains. There's no consciousness in these things. Just half-remembered abilities like walking and eating. Settle down. I'm here to help. Shoot at me again and you'll lose the other arm. I'm gathering everyone together in the church for safety. I'm safe enough right here. That door's locked and no one's going to get in here. But you're wounded. I'll be fine. You can't even cock that shotgun, much less aim it with only one arm. Come with me and you'll be safe. I guess you're right. But I can't leave this cell. I don't have a key. Sheriff took it with him when he went to check on the saloon. Sheriff. I can't use this shotgun. You take it. I've still got a pistol. Sweet mother of mercy, don't kill me. I'm here to help. You'll be safe in the church. Finish your business and I'll take you there.
Hey, thanks for bringing me here. church. You'll be safe there. How do I know you're not another one of those monsters? Because they don't offer to help? My hero. If we all survive this, come by sometime and uh, I'll return the favor. My name's Buford Elliot. What should I call you? Don't. I've been hiding in that outhouse for two days. Mm. I can tell. I tried to telegram for help, but the line's out. It's been acting up lately. My name is Dan Thorpe. I'm from Chanford. They sent me here when the doctors never came back. They must have died trying to treat those monsters. Darn fools. When the zombie got my arm, the sheriff locked me in that cell for my own safety. He said he'd be right back, but the zombies must have killed him. I guess technically I'm the sheriff now, but I don't know how good a job I can do with only one arm. Did you find any of the other girls in the saloon? Where are they? Well, there are three of us that work in the upstairs rooms.
Get back, fiend. I'll do you in for just like I did all your other demon kin. Calm down, old man. If you want to stay alive, come with me. Forget it. We're staying right here till this whole thing passes over. It's your funeral. Wait. Where are you gonna take us? You'll be safe at the church. But that's all the way across town. How are we supposed to get there? Just follow me. Well, okay. We'll follow you. This is all the fault of them whores in the saloon. God is unleashing his wrath upon us for their sins. Oh, God forbid you should commit a sin, you fat cow. Did you say something, Paul? say we just sacrifice them whores to the demons and be done with the whole thing. What demons? You know the demons that are plaguing our town. The zombies. Those are type 2 zombies, not demons. Trust me, I know the difference. Zombies. Wish a zombie'd get a hold of you, you dumb old mule. Thank you for helping us. I hope you can rescue everyone else in town. Did you meet any of the doctors from Chanford? The deputy said several were sent to help, but they were all killed. They were dead when I got here. But I think I might have finished off one or two of their zombies. 
Buford said that the telegraph lines are out of commission. Yeah, I tried to contact Spookhouse before they sent you, but the lines were dead. There's some kind of electrical or magnetic interference. I bet it has something to do with whatever's awakening the dead around here. Excuse me, Sonny, but do you think you could go back and save our children? Why didn't you mention that while we were at your house? Well, I wasn't sure we could trust you. Now I know that if anyone can save them, you can. They're in the Jenkins basement, out back of the other farmhouse. They're hiding in the cellar and won't open the door unless they hear a special knock. Very original. I'll be right back with your children. Did you find any of the other girls in the saloon? You're the only one still alive. <gasps> oh, dear. Thank you for saving me. My name's Dixie Buttercup. How appropriate. As soon as this is all over, I'm getting out of this town. I'm going to California to be a movie star. I was born and raised in this town, and I'm sure as hell not going to die here. Deputy Dan, I'm so glad you're alive. What on earth happened to you? You should see the other guy. Are you going to be okay? Oh, I'll be fine. And another thing. Why didn't Chanford send in more people to help? They think they're so high and mighty. We're stuck here with no defense except for old men like Paul here. Well, too bad you can't nag the zombies to death. You'd save the whole damn town. What did you say? Nothing, Ma. And where did you come from anyway with that coat and those silly glasses? That's right, Ma. Insult the man who's trying to save our lives, you old hag. Oh. <laughs> 
are you? There's no time for introductions. Come with me to the church. Why? Your parents and others from the town are there. You'll be safe there. All right, come on, Tommy. I'm Bobby Sue, and this is my little brother, Tommy. Who are you? Did you kill all the monsters? You're great. I'm going to be just like you when I grow up. No, you're not. Are you married? No. Pa says I'm going to make a lucky man very happy when I get married. He was probably referring to himself. What? Hey, Mama. Look who came to save us. Bobby Sue, get away from that man. Are you going to hell now? Tommy, watch your mouth or you'll get a whipping. But, Ma, that's where all the monsters are. Where? The pit. I saw a lot of monsters in there. It's really the doorway to hell. All the monsters are coming up from there. I've seen it. He must mean the old mine. It's been abandoned for years and sealed off. But I think the kids have found a way into it. What do you think? The boy might be right. When I first got here, I noticed it. There's definitely something not right about that place. I ask around, but no one knows much about it. There was an accident there, and the mine was shut down. It's been abandoned for decades. A strange man came into town last winter asking about the old mine, but he disappeared. I'll look into it. How do I get in? The gate's locked up, but I know how to open it from the inside. I'll help you. There you go, Mr. Monster Killer. I'll take you back to the church. Oh, shoot. I can outrun any of those old monsters. I'll go myself. Suit yourself. <laughs> 